hey what is up smart people welcome to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back if you are a new subscriber please subscribe down below click like whatever okay so today i want to talk about the exciting future of astronomy in south africa specifically with the ska okay so what is this ska and what makes it so special the square kilometer array is a giant radio telescope that is being built it's right here in south africa so the ska will have a total collecting area of uh, about one square kilometer uh, hence the name the square kilometer array the problem is you cannot build a huge telescope that has a collecting area of one square kilometer so what do we do so scientists are smart scientists are clever so what they do is they build really smaller telescopes and dishes that will span over large distances and this will simulate a single giant telescope. The SKA will operate over a wide range of frequencies and this will allow us to observe objects from very very far. The capabilities of the SKA will allow us to answer very very deep questions, very fundamental questions in astrophysics, in physics, in particle physics and in cosmology so the ska should be able to provide data dating back all the way to the cosmic dark ages when the universe was very dark when there was nothing in the universe to the cosmic dawn to when uh, the first structures formed the first stars and galaxies that were able to emit light to ionize the universe right so what this means is the ska should be able to see the universe gradually light up which is information that we do not have. So the next question that uh, the SKA should be able to answer is galaxies. Uh, so we still do not know how galaxies evolved, how they are formed and stuff like that. So the SKA should be able to provide us with information about how the first galaxies evolved and should be able to give us an idea of why there are different shapes of galaxies from the spiral galaxies to the elliptical and so forth this should potentially answer as well the question of dark energy right so we know that the galaxies are moving further from each other and the universe is expanding at a highly increasing rate each and every day and this is due to this dark energy and nobody knows what it is so the ska should be able to provide constraints on uh, what this dark energy is you should be able to answer questions about dark matter by studying the halos within galaxies and galaxy clusters okay the next question would be the limits of general relativity right so we know that general relativity by einstein uh, which is one of the most successful if not the most successful theory of nature einstein predicted gravitational waves in 1915 and they found 100 years later in 2015. With the SKA, we'll be finally able to test out the extreme limits by studying black holes, pulsars. You know, these objects cause a massive curvature in space time. And so, this is where gravity and general relativity will be tested to the limit. So, the SKA should be able to also test out cosmic magnetism, the, the origin and the evolution of cosmic magnetism. We know how important it is, we know the amount. The importance of magnetism in our daily lives we use magnets almost every day however we do not know where it originates from on a cosmic scale and so the ska should be able to answer that question as well and finally the big question is the life out there in the universe so the ska should be able to provide um, information about that by studying stars that have exoplanets much like ours Pivoting the Goldilocks zone, that's what we call it, and it should be able to give us like an idea of environments of uh, planets like ours and if life does evolve from planets like that. So astrobiologists will be able to use the SKA to study organic compounds in the universe, like amino acid, to understand how the biology of uh, life forms about. Right, and lastly. The SKA should be sensitive enough to detect very weak, low frequencies in the radio spectrum, you know, potentially, potentially emitted by 
extraterrestrial civilization out there if they do exist and that's a big if this is quite clear that the SKA is very powerful it is the most ambitious experimental setup ever produced and it will be right here in South Africa that's the most exciting part it is right here at home and if you are as excited as I am you know the potential and the capabilities of having such an instrument right here in South Africa will be able to compete in the global stage uh, from a scientific perspective and it should put South Africa right there in the map okay uh, in fact the precursor of the SKA uh, has already uh, put out one of the most clearest and most detailed images of the Milky Way as you can see right here this is exciting if imagine if the meerkat with just 64 telescopes can be able to produce something like this imagine what the SKA will be able to do the SKA is such an important 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 thing for us and I think everyone should know about this the SKA will be able to produce high amounts petabytes of data you know in a day you know it, it will be very very large it will need new computers so it will challenge big data and machine learning to its fullest as well so you know it's, it's not just exciting for us astrophysicists cosmologists and astronomers but it is very exciting for other fields as well including computer science and engineering and so forth if you like the brief overview that i gave today about the sk please share it with other people i feel like a lot of people need to know about this need to know about the excitement that's coming this wave that's coming here in south africa and you know we need people like you we need people smart people like yourself to be able to study and take advantage of this instrument that's coming right here if you liked what you saw today please like subscribe and you know the deal so yeah uh with that i'd like to close and thank you guys i'll see you in the next one peace out